Hi there, and welcome to the Arkansas E-Traveler. I'm Landon. Uh, this episode is update number 18 for Walmart Energy EV Charging. A little bit of a different episode here. We're going to start out with the permits because at the end of this, I want to go through some of the uh, systems that I've created to help get you the latest information and to help you report any found permits or any information that you have about any upcoming uh, builds for Walmart Energy EV charging. This is to help me out, create some systems uh, to stay as informed as I can uh, as I enter um, a, a new season of my life this fall with uh, our first child on the way. So I'm doing everything I can to make sure I don't fall behind. So let's get into permits and then we'll show you how to access information and report permits. First one up is Supercenter 4681 in Tampa, Florida. The conquest of Tampa Bay continues for Walmart Energy. This is a permit, I believe it was found by Alejandro EV66 at 4302 West Gandy Boulevard in Tampa. Uh, based on everything that we know so far, I suspect that this will include four ABB A400 charging units for a total of eight stalls in an existing Walmart parking lot. And we continue with the conquest of Tampa Bay from Don at EV Texans here, Supercenter 5300. This one you will notice, <clears throat> it is a little vague. The, uh, the next three permits that I'm going to share are very, very fresh. They are very new. So not all of the information has made it into the database, but there is enough here to run with. Uh, it will be at store 5300 again at 9205 Gibsonton Drive in Gibsonton, Florida. This time on the east side of the Tampa Bay. Next, in Brandon, Florida, still on the east side of Tampa Bay, at Supercenter 2387. Again, a vague uh, permit application, but there is enough information here that we can deduce um, based on some correspondence and some contact communication information found within the permit itself that we're fairly confident these will be Walmart Energy EV charging stations. And the final one from Don, uh, Supercenter 5220 uh, in Tampa. Uh, this one again, fairly fresh and uh, we're fairly confident based on the communication correspondence and the uh, things that we've seen in the permit. This is also planned to be a Walmart Energy EV charging station. In Wesley Chapel at 3418, this one does not have an accessible permit, but when you search for it, this pops up. You can see the date right there. Five days ago is when this one came across uh, to add EV charging stations to existing parking lot at Walmart 3418, again in Wesley Chapel, Florida. This one was sent in by a viewer. Credits will be in the uh, sheet at the end that you'll be able to access at 5810 Ranch Lake Boulevard in Bradenton, Florida, south of Tampa Bay. This is Supercenter 5727. And again, I anticipate all of these will be for ABB A400 units for eight stalls total. Uh, that's the pattern that we're seeing in Florida. Now let's go to a fun find. A viewer sent me this information this morning uh, in Sevierville, and Kodak, Tennessee. The, who exactly this is is kind of vague. If you've ever been to Kodak, Sevierville, or Gatlinburg, they all kind of run together. Uh, but Supercenter 90239, there's no way that's the store number, but that's what it is right now on the uh, uh, building plans. This is a brand new store that's coming to Sevierville and Kodak. So um, what's interesting here is that it does include right beneath that red arrow, four EV charging uh, EVSE locations plus a pad for the transformer. Um, we know that Walmart is starting to build super centers again, uh, and they're going to use the store of the future concept, which has been synonymous in their press releases with EV charging. So this is exciting. If you visit East Tennessee or head to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park all the way down towards you know Franklin or Asheville, uh, North Carolina. This is a great stop. This will give you a place to charge as you are getting ready to parse the Great Smoky Mountain uh, Parkway and uh, just excited that this is here. So now let's get into 
how you can access all of the information that I have at any point and also report any found permits. All right, so if you go to my YouTube channel here, I've updated a couple of things, but mainly right here. All right, so if you click on this, it'll bring up two links. Let's look at the first one. This is how you can access the latest information that I have uh, about Walmart Energy. Now, you can do this at any point during the week, and that's kind of the point here. I do not want to keep information uh, away from anybody that I have because it's important and uh, my time's going to be spread thin so if you ever want to check it out go to tinyurl.com slash Walmart Energy EVs and it will bring you to this page. These are my Walmart Energy EV charging tables and there are four tabs at the bottom. The first one are the open locations. These are the ones that we know about. There's a little bit of a discrepancy right here, right now, because Plano and Irving, I kept them here. However, they're not in the app, so they do not get counted in my totals yet. Um, but as soon as they are added, and it looks like Plano should be very, very soon, it passed its inspection uh, in the recent days, um, you will see this update. And so in this area on the left, this is everything I know that is open. Um, when you go over here to the right, I have now added running totals as best I can. So you can see we have seven locations open. There's a 76 uh, plug stall count right now. Um, that's a little high. I think that right now is including those two not open locations, but this will be the only time that happens. Uh, we're running the average price here so that we can see what's going on. 43 cents right now, and that's just because Chicota's at 53 cents. Everywhere else is 42. And then here is a running total of the charging units and their vendors. So we got seven open from Alpitronic and none open yet from ABB. Um, so this is just pretty plain and simple. What's open? If we go to under construction, this pops up. And so here you can see what I know about uh, being under construction. A ton of them in Texas and one in Arizona. And you can follow those as well over here on the right as the, the number of spotted under construction, how many of them using Alpitronic hyperchargers, how many of them are using ABB, and of course, state by state breakdown of how many uh, are under construction in each state. And then we can go to the permitting section. And you'll see everything I have. This is where it gets a little wild, but it is organized by state. Um, here, everything that I have, I've put in here. And you can see it goes on quite a bit, and it's only going to get bigger. Um, in fact, I have to add the ones that you just saw to this. So, um, right now we have 60 found permitting on this sheet. 19 of them are going to use Alpitronic hyperchargers, and 23 of them are going to use ABBs. Uh, those are left blank in this column that says charging hardware. That means we don't know the vendor. It wasn't mentioned in the application or anywhere within that permitting. Uh, so um, once we find out, we'll add it, but chances are we won't know those until under construction. So then we have a breakdown here of all of the states, and you can see right now in permitting, Florida leads with 17 although it's much more than that now. It's well over 20 uh, with today's update. And Texas uh, has 14. So Florida has overtaken Texas in what we have found. Reality may be something totally different, but again, we're kind of having to fly blind on this. We don't necessarily have anything in terms of what to look for, where to look for from Walmart. Um, so we have to do it all on our own. And that's um, a fun task, but it does lead to stuff like this, just giant spreadsheets with all kinds of information. So the last one, and this is um, the one that says to be announced. This is where I keep a running tab when someone sends me something or when something changes. And I add it into here. All of these we just went over, so I will add them in once I'm done here. And you will be able to see uh, what's going on. Um, sometimes I add some notes like watch this one. 
Those are the three that Don found that were so fresh they did not have too much information. So I want to watch those and see if they do add information. Maybe we will get a confirmation that it is ABB, um, although I am all but certain it is based on what's going on in Florida. So um, I just encourage you to remember that the information provided here is very much unofficial and it's been compiled based on publicly available internet research. This is just for informational, uh, educational purposes. Do not run with this uh, to anything significant because it can change so quickly. Um, I've already had to remove some. I've had to go back and fix some. It just depends on what we find out and when we find it out. So that's what you can access to uh, see what's going on uh, with Walmart Energy that I know about at any point during the week. But if we go back to the YouTube page, let's click on Report Walmart Energy Location. And this is what that form looks like. First thing I need to know is what city and state is the prospective location. And then what is the address? I have to have those in order to verify what the store number is. If you know what the store number is, you can go ahead and add that. That is helpful. Um, but it's okay if you don't. Not everybody knows Walmart's by their store number. That's kind of a thing if you live where I do in Bentonville. Um, so uh, I, that would be helpful if you can include it, but don't feel like you have to. What link or information can you share to verify the location? I need to go find and see with my own eyes and verify the information that you're trying to share. Uh, it's just me doing my homework, making sure that what I share is accurate. Is there anything else that I need to know about this location? What do you think is worth sharing? Go ahead and put that in this question second from the bottom. And then finally, once verified, I would like to share what you have uh, given to me. And if you want credit, go ahead and tell me how to give you credit. Do you want it through your X or Twitter handle? Do you want it through your YouTube handle, your name, first name, whatever? Um, or do you just want to be anonymous? Uh, that's fine. I, I'm more than happy to accommodate that. Um, just under understand that I do believe in giving credit where credit is due. Uh, so if you wouldn't mind doing that, um, if you uh, so choose, it would be more than welcome. All right, so that's how you fill out the form. I'll receive it uh, very quickly and begin to take a look and do my homework to verify and add to the Google Sheet that you just saw and then get it into the next update. That'll do it for this update. Again, very exciting for Florida and Tennessee now, and we look forward to seeing more. I anticipate, uh, thanks to uh, the research that Don has done at EV Texans, we'll see a new location opening up in the Metroplex in the very near future. I'm Landon saying happy trails.